Hello everybody, today we are going to create a um, track in FL Studio basically it, it's a cover of Portish Head SOS uh, we are using here only s uh, internal plugins like Citrus and um, basic kick, clap, head and snare uh, nothing elsewhere only default FL Studio plugins and you will see that we easily can create a MOOC like sounds uh, analog like sounds uh, and uh, leads and so on they will all sound really fat and uh, great and uh, I think there is no need to buy um, expensive equipment to uh, give uh, the sound because uh, it's a matter of knowledge knowledge you um, you only need to know how to create sounds and the source is not so really important okay let's listen to the tracks first the track is uh, really simple It's uh, really simple. Let's um, dive into each uh, synthesizer and let's see what is going on. Okay, uh, the first one is bass. Uh, I'm using here two oscillators or operators, call it in Citrus. Um, pitch almost two octaves and uh, the second one is octave one octave lower with uh, little fluctuation yes uh, in pitch so here is 50 and here is minus 20 okay uh, i'm also using an lofo on uh, this oscillator it slightly um, pushes uh, pitch up and down so it will create nice location like this as you can see yes dissonating a little okay okay so it's clear yes it goes to the first filter and I'm using here uh, envelope on cut of the filter and LP2 low pass filter 2 and uh, multiply it on 2 okay uh, both uh, also I'm using a slight uh, frequency frequency modulation from second operator uh, it adds some some character but it's not uh, really needed okay base that's the base okay let's go to the chords let's uh, listen how they sound as you can see um, the chord to cut off a filter is moving down and then up let's see how I create it so um, this is the filter tab and you see that uh, I have this attack on the on the cutoff then uh, filter goes down and then up so nothing are really um, special but sounds interesting let's listen to it I'm using here three um, oscillators so twos on different octaves and uh, also slightly detuned uh, guys, sorry for my English. It, it's not my. It's not my primary language, so I'm trying my best. Okay, let's listen to it. 
Okay. The next one is melody. Melody is not complicated and uh, also it's citrus. Let's listen to it. So bas basically it stopped, okay. uh, it's only one uh, oscillator. So twos, yes. Uh, nothing. Uh, mm -hmm. Pitch is untouched, as you can see, and it goes to the filter. And LFO modulation of filter slightly goes up and down. Okay, let's listen. <laughs> Okay, this is um, almost forgot to show you effects. So um, I think that it's really important to post-process your sounds. You can use um, Citrus, um, really great thing. I love it. But if you don't do post-processing, uh, everything will be uh, will sound just raw. So I'm using a chorus reverb and EQ. EQ is really important. I'm also using it, uh, especially this one, on everywhere. On master channel also I'm using equalizer. So slightly cutting low uh, frequencies and boosting high frequencies. Uh, this scene looks like this and also a delay. So um, on leads I, I'm usually, usually using chorus some kind of uh, modulation, equalizer, reverbs, and delay. Uh, this is simple inserts. I didn't want to use uh, send, uh, send, send uh, channels for it. It's just for uh, just for tutorial. Uh, I think it's not important. Okay, let's uh, listen to the whole track. Ah, oh, no, sorry. Bass effects on bass. Uh, it's a uh, fruity convolver, it's like a reverb, and that's all. On a uh, course, I'm using the fifth track here. Delay, overdrive, I'm slightly um, adjusted this value of preamp and lower it post gain, nothing else change it. Uh, also a delay, fruity delay too, and ec equalizer. Also cut it down low frequencies. Uh, I'm cutting down low frequencies to make the bass sound larger and cooler, you know. So let's let's listen to it. possible in FL Studio and you basically create a working demo in it and uh, even a production ready um, music um, so that's all oh um, sorry master channel yes so I'm also using a default fruity limiter I'm, I'm here playing only with gain and equalizer as I showed okay Please leave your comments or comments if you want to see more videos or tutorials about advanced uh, using um, FL Studio and maybe basic stuff you want to know. I am very I will be happy to share with you with my knowledge. Knowledge uh, I was working in FL Studio more than ten years and I uh, have a huge experience with uh, sound design creating. And this track particularly was created in about 15 or 30 minutes. It's not so uh, hard to, to make these sounds. 
and uh, I think that you don't really need to download or buy expensive hardware or install some plugins to get um, Moog like sounds or vintage like sounds okay uh, have a nice day, day. Uh, subscribe also and good luck